Uh, I think one thing we've accomplished is improving from uh, from last year and improving on from South Carolina to Murray State. I think we've improved and uh, and really a, lot, a big focus of ours this season has been um, tackling and pursuit to the ball. And I think that looking back at film that we've gotten better in that as the games have gone on, and and that's been something we we emphasized and really uh, are trying to get better at still. How do you emphasize tackling, especially in the preseason? Is that one of the tough deals because you don't do a lot of hitting in the preseason? That's true. Um, we don't, in order to avoid injuries, we don't particularly take guys to the ground during practice. But one of the things that uh, we, we've always emphasized is in our thud practices, really getting to the ball and getting contact and getting and bringing your arms so that you're in position to make a tackle so that when, uh, when it comes to game time, you're in position to make the play. And... Um, and also, we do a lot of drills, like tackling drills, where you can actually bring a guy to the ground on a mat, so that there's a lower risk of them hurting, getting themselves hurt when they hit the ground. Bobby, can you kind of take us through uh, the uh, odyssey of your career? You came in as a, a walk-on. What were your expectations, and have you have exceeded those expectations since you've been? Uh, well, I I came in with just expecting to to really work hard and, and try to contribute any way I could. Um, my goal when I came here wasn't exactly just to earn a scholarship. I wanted to play. Um, I grew up dreaming to play at this level, and and that's what I wanted to do. So, you know, a, a big milestone for me was was getting on the field my first game and making a making a play on special team. And that's you know it's it's kind of been a step ladder. You know, I, I wanted to first I wanted to get on the field, and then I wanted to play on defense, and then I wanted to start. And and now I'm at the point in my career where uh, personally I just want to be known as a guy who's who's coming in the game and is contributing and helping our team win. And um, what was that? Go ahead. And uh, and really, as a senior now, uh, the biggest thing that I'd like to see is is just winning. That's really the biggest thing for me. Uh, rather than personal uh, milestones now, is I want to I want to win. I want to help this team do something really big this year. Do you think that you had to work maybe? Uh, Twice as hard to be recognized half as much on your on your climb up the ladder of the depth chart. Uh, yeah, sometimes because you know you they didn't ex they didn't recruit me to come here and, and and sometimes you do have to do things to stand out. You have to to work. But I actually I, I enjoyed that. I, I take pride in the fact that that I'm known as a worker on the team and that my teammates and I earn their respect. And I take a lot of pride in that. Coach said that there was some – the low feet factor was a little high in the South Carolina game as far as the team and the defense pursuing the ball. Was that something that's been corrected? or? Uh, we had a, a much better game against Murray State as far as it came to loafs and pursuit to the ball. And uh, and I think that's a reflection of how we practiced this week. Um, you know, our coaching staff, would, like you said, wasn't happy with – the pursuit to the ball in South Carolina. So that was something that we really worked on correcting this week, and I think we did a very good job. I heard a rumor that you broke some face masks in practice with a hit once. Is that true? Uh, yeah, that's true. I, I think the story you're referring to is last year they had to replace my face mask, I think, right. seven or eight times. Just so, some hits? Yeah. From tackling someone? Yeah. You take pride in being a, a hard hitter? Uh, immensely, yeah. That's, that's one of the things that – that I feel like is a strong point of, of my game personally. That uh, you know I might not be the fastest guy, but and it might take me a little longer to get there. But when I do, I'm going to try to punish the ball carrier, and that's something that that I take pride in is playing physical physical football. What kind of sound did you hear when you uh, played out that block in the punt return? Uh, what kind of sound? Yeah, I was just excited to see TJ run by. To be honest, I you know I, I was excited. I thought he was going to score, so. I was pretty pumped that uh, that we were going to get a special teams touchdown because we, you know, that's something that we spent a lot of time working on. We want to be great on special teams, and uh, when I saw him run by, I thought it's, you know, you don't see people catch TJ, so I, I really thought it was going to be six points. Is that kind of the best feeling though? You're blocking somebody and you're still standing. And it, it is. Later. It is a good feeling. It is a great feeling. Um, you, know, you, you want teams to come into the game and always be thinking about getting hit because it slows you down. And so when they turn on the film and they see guys getting getting knocked down, it's it's always in the back of their mind that well, these guys have come to play and they're coming and they're going to hit you. And 
that's the kind of team I think we want to be. Is a very physical team. Speaking of physical, uh, based on what you've seen the first two games, especially Saturday, I mean, how, how dominant can this defensive front be? I mean, I think I think we can be great up front, and I think we are. I think we have the the guys up front, and that's where it all starts, is up front. And uh, you know, if you got guys up front who can dominate an offensive line, then you have a chance on any defense, regardless of what you have behind it. You know, it all starts up front, and I think our guys do a real good job of practicing physical. And when it comes to the game, that's how they play. You've been around Ray Michelle since you've been here. Talk a little bit about him as a sort of leader in the middle there um, and what he's done. Uh, well, one thing about Ray that I can tell you from a personal standpoint is um, and Coach O'Brien uh, alluded to it earlier about his, his work ethic. Uh, I'm another guy who goes in and watches film every day. And a lot of times, my favorite room to watch it in is the linebacker's room. So me and Ray sometimes get into it, Not, I mean, just joking around. but. I'll walk in there after practice and open the door to the linebacker's room, and he'll be sitting there already. So I'll be like, oh, and I go in the DB's room and watch it in there. But, and it happens to him, too. Sometimes he'll come in, and he'll see me, and it's, and it's every day. You know, he's a guy who, who comes in every day to work like that. And, um, and he is, he's, he's not a real, a real vocal guy who's going to try and uh, lead, you know, rah, rah, but he, he's a work ethic guy. And you look at him, and he leads by example in his, the way he prepares and the way he practices. So does that make you, he make you eat faster? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Coach O'Brien's mentioned that uh, this team now has more of a business-like attitude than at any time since he's, he's been here. Do you think that's going to be tested quite a bit this week? Uh, you just beat a, a fairly inferior opponent on, on Saturday. You've got another 1AA team coming up this Saturday to be able to continue the improvement that, uh, that you made on Saturday. Uh, a lot of that's mental, isn't it, and just being emotionally prepared? Yeah. A lot of it is, and, and, and you're right. It's something that, that they put a big emphasis on, and, and, our, and Coach Archer has said this before, that it's not necessarily about who you're playing. It's about us. It's about improving us as a defense, and this is another week to get better. And the way you get better is, is practicing hard, and you, and you have to practice and approach every week the same. You don't want to practice a different way that you do for Murray State than you do for University of North Carolina. You want to practice and prepare the same way and improve every week. And that's something that I do think we have done a better job of this year and towards the end of the season last year. I know you don't watch the opposition's defense very much, but Murray State early in the game the other day, they, they, they had a tough time recognizing formations and busting a couple of coverages. From your guys' standpoint, now that you've been in this defense for three years, do you feel like that everybody on the defense now on the same page, you recognize those formations, make the correct calls a lot quicker? That's more efficiency Definitely. I think that, uh, that, that having the defense now that we're in our third year, that a lot of people do understand more what we're trying to do, not just their role on the, job, on the, on the team, but what the guy next to him is doing. And a lot of times that really helps. And I know personally that helps me a lot is not, instead of just focusing on what the safeties are doing, I know a lot about what's going on up in front of me, which helps me know where my help is and things like that. And I think that that's something that our defense has gotten better with as a whole, is understanding what we're trying to do and what kind of situation we're in and what, how the, and I think our preparation is better on how, what the opponent's trying to do. And, you know, we're, a lot of times we, we can look at a formation and we're, and we're alert to what they're trying to do and how they're trying to attack us and, and what we need to do to stop it. And I do think that's something we've gotten better at. You put much stock in the state championship you won last year. Yeah, we take a lot of pride you in that. You do take a pride. In it? Yeah, we, I mean, we want to beat everybody we play, but you know, we we want to know that we we're the best in the state, and uh, and that's something that that we do take pride in, and we take pride in every team we beat. And um, but it, it it does feel good to beat your in-state rivals.